To sew these adorable bunny ears, you will need the free pattern that I have linked in the description down below, as well as some organic baby safe wooden rings, which I will also link in the description down below, some cotton fabric, and then a thicker backing fabric like Sherpa, terry cloth, or minky fabric. Take your cotton fabric and fold it in half, then take the pattern and lay it so that the straight edge of the pattern is laying along that fold. Pin it in place and then cut all the way around. Then take your cotton piece of fabric and lay it right side down onto your backing fabric. So they will be laying right sides together. Pin it in place and then you will sew a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire thing, making sure to leave between two to three inches of an opening that you will use to turn the entire project right side out. Once you've sewn that quarter inch seam allowance around the entire project, you can trim away all of the excess fabric. Now make sure just to leave a little bit extra at your two to three inch opening. Trim away all the rest of that excess fabric and trim even a little bit more at both of the points. This allows your bunny ears to have a nice point once it's turned right side out. Then you will turn your project right side out. I like to use a chopstick to just gently push out those two points before taking it over to my iron and giving it a nice press. When you are pressing, make sure you fold in those flaps from the opening and pin it shut. Then you'll take it back to your sewing machine and you will sew a scant quarter inch seam allowance around the entire project that will close up that opening as well. Now a scant quarter inch is just a little bit shy of a quarter inch seam allowance. Then it's time to loop your bunny ears around your organic baby safe wooden ring. All right I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now!